Howdy, folks. Well, it's the evening now. It's 6.30 in the evening, and I'm just making a batch of... <clears throat> These are, in fact, quadruple bowls. basically like the the double bowl um, but instead of being being two there are four of them um, you'll see what I mean in a minute as I try to as I try to join them together, you'll see. <coughs> right, that one is finished. Now, what I propose to do is to try to. The problem with having to make it and then to film it all at the same time, it's not that easy. Anyway, look, in front of us there, you'll see, are four bowls. Right, now, I'm going to crash them into each other. So, this one is going to... Okay, now... This is a bit of a new one for me. I'm not. I haven't really done many of these. They're sort of. I'm feeling my way with them a bit. A little bit at an experimental stage, but it's nice to share one's experiments with you lot out there. Now it helps if you make them the same height, because when you sort of and you crash them together like this. You just simply in the wet state like this. Push them push them in without sort of deforming them too much. That's the idea. It's actually not that easy to do. They tend to they tend to deform rather because they're you know rather wet. So anyway, we don't want to touch them. Let's have a look too much there. Well, there we are, folks. So I mean, there you see them. Now that will have they will have a um, one simple. Uh, pulled strap handle that will go over there across from diagonally from one side over to the other and that then is a is a, a bowl which is useful for a variety of different um, applications oh I don't know sauces dips you name it you know I don't need to tell you what you could use that for it tells you itself doesn't it you could have chopped celery in there, chopped carrot in there, some diced onion in there, oh I don't know, something else in here, some a sauce or whatever, and you can then... Nice to have um, if you've got a party and you've got people invited around and you want to, you know, just have some buffet type things where people can um, uh, just help themselves, etc. So maybe there's a little idea for, for you for you guys to practice. The advantage of doing it in the wet state the wet state like this is that the adherence is very, very good one piece to another when it's wet. You don't have a problem generally of them separating. They always stay together. Whoops. Okay folks, that's it. We will see you tomorrow, no doubt, for what 
Possibly tomorrow I'm going to be having a go at making some pestles and mortars. Join me then. Meanwhile, keep practicing and have a good time. Bye now.